Hey guys, Photoshop Steve. Uh, thanks for tuning in, or at least selecting this video to watch. Um, this video is two things. Actually, it's more of a discussion. And um, while you're watching a video of me photoshopping that had, I had already recorded, because I figured it would be easier to speak about it after the fact. Um, the original video Photoshop took about 13 and a half minutes or so from start to finish. So um, I'm going to kind of walk you through it. Um, it's pretty self explanatory, but just in case. So we got two, uh, two pictures here Eddie Bravo in Game of Thrones. Eddie Bravo, if you've listened or watched the Joe Rogan podcast or the Fight Companion, um, he's a big. Eddie's a big Game of Thrones fan, um, as well as a Dragon fan, so uh, I figured why not. So I took his face, and obviously I'm going to uh, transfer it to the female's face. Um, I have a collection of photos that I use. Um, sometimes I have to go online and get new ones for any of these guys, because it's really difficult to request photos, um, and it's also a little weird. To say, hey, can you send me a picture uh, of your face? So I have to find things, and so that's why a lot of the photos I have, you see the same, the same photo or the same expression. Because part of what I do is based on the expression. Um, sometimes it adds a little more humor. Uh, the intention of everything I do in regards to Photoshop is humor based. Um, I do not do it for any other reason. Uh, never malicious um, never trying to be um, some of these guys um, I'm going to use Eddie as an example um, have given me prior permission so Eddie Bravo, Hanato Laranja uh, several other folks that I've done or do more than others um, have given me prior oh Eddie Bravo, funny I say that uh, I sent him this video, so it's kind of funny that he's responding. Um, I'm glad he likes it. Anyway, uh, Eddie is the reason that I have the amount of followers on social media that I do. Uh, Eddie Bravo, I reached out to about two years ago. Uh, funny, I reached out through Hanato. I reached out to Hanato Laranja, uh, finding that uh, what he did was so funny. And I asked him if, if it would be okay if I Photoshop. I try to get, like I said, I try to get the... Um, approval beforehand but I can't always uh, not everyone you know and, and I can understand that they have so many followers it's tough to you know go through your messages and figure out who's legitimate or who's you know a stalker so anyway which I'm just a fan Eddie Bravo sent me a private message because he had seen what he had done of Hanato and I uh, said you know you photoshops if I remember are awesome and uh I said, hey, if you're up to it, I'll be more than happy to. Obviously, Eddie's game for anything. Eddie's awesome. Um, so Eddie, uh, in conversation, through text actually, never never voice conversation. I haven't spoken to any of these guys. Eddie, Eddie's, it's funny because Eddie I've only conversed with or communicated with through texting or private messaging. I've never spoken to him on the phone. He uh, asked if I had Instagram or social media. I said, well, you know, I do have Facebook and Twitter I'm not a big fan of, but um, he said, what about Instagram? The thing about Instagram is I like it for the simplicity of just posting things and then people can just comment, you know, but I, what I don't like about it is the fact it's limited to the size, you know, so many times I have to go into another program or I had to download an app that I could kind of resize so you could see the whole thing, but it's still small. So that's why I throw everything on uh, Facebook. I have a Facebook page. Uh, Photoshop Steve, please feel free to to like it if you're interested. Um, now my Twitter handle is scast322, scast322, or at scast. Instagram, as you if you follow me, is at the Photoshop Steve. Uh, I had to add the word the in because before all this with Eddie, I did have just photo at Photoshop Steve. But I forgot my password. For some reason, I couldn't get my password back, so I had to come up with the at the Photoshop Steve. 
So that's what it is on Instagram. Please, uh, you know, if you're interested, again, please follow. Don't feel obligated to. Uh, I mean, I appreciate all the the support, and but I, I do know I, I, I it can be a lot because I do post many things, but I don't post it so much for the likes. I post it because I enjoy Photoshop, and I get such a kick out of these guys that I just do it for that reason. Um, so back to Eddie Bravo. Eddie Bravo is the reason that I have the amount of followers I do, and uh, it, it's in large, large in part to him. You know, so thanks to Eddie Bravo and everybody else that uh, found out about me through him. You know, directly or indirectly. Back to the photo. Sorry for that little intro. Uh, what I'm doing now, uh, as you probably hear in the background, is my dogs. Um, pains in the ass. What I'm doing now is I'm adding some color. Um, I picked, um, you know, because it is highlighting the original photo, so I'm trying to find or, or duplicate that shadow, uh, that highlight by using a brighter color. Um, you know, I, I will also use the lightning tool, um, but just to try and blend in the faces and the, the color of the faces. Um, so. So that's, that's what I have here. Um, just kind of walking through that. Let me just move this out of the way so you can see. Um, it all depends on how much qual how much I want to invest time-wise. Um, in general, I, any of these Photoshops can last anywhere between 10 minutes to hour, 10 minutes, hour and 10 minutes, hour and 20 minutes, at, usually at the most. And after that point, I just don't feel like doing it anymore. Um, for no other reason than it's just, you know, the quality of the photo is really what's going to make the difference. If I have a high quality photo, I'm going to have a better result if both photos that I'm using are, are close in, in quality. You know, when it's trying when you're trying to match or degrade quality, obviously it's a little little less, you know, a little less the result isn't so uh, appealing. But again, it's all in the, the, the name of humor. Um, humor is the game. Uh, if 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 it's people take it the wrong way, they, they miss the they miss the point. They miss the what I'm doing because you know a lot of the guys that I do, the UFC, you know, some Bellator, um, these guys are fighters. You know, even Eddie Bravo, he's a multi-degree black belt jujitsu. You know, I'd be out of my mind to purposely fuck with any of these guys. You know, I mean, it would just be ridiculous and and unnecessary. You know, never mind John Jones, Conor McGregor, the Diaz brothers, all the people that you've seen. But that being said, I only, only Photoshop those that I personally like, that I'm a fan of. You know, people say, well, well you know, it's kind of, some of these are kind of tough. I mean, you must hate these guys. The total opposite. I absolutely respect them. I respect the sport and everyone that participates. Um, and and that's, that's my, again, intention through humor. Like a comedian makes jokes of other well-known people or celebrities, uh, or, or impersonators impersonate. I Photoshop. That's my that's my contribution in the, the name of humor to, to these people. I could do I could do any genre. I could do any sport. Any celebrity. I choose this because I'm a fan. The bottom line, I'm a fan. Um, I know some people think, oh wow, you've, you 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 must not like Dana White. But Dana White, in my opinion, is a businessman. You know, the Fertitta brothers are businessmen. They have a great product. You know, uh, they get, <laughs> obviously. And um, I don't I don't Photoshop the Fertitta brothers because, again, I don't I don't know much about them. Not that I know much about uh, Dana White or a lot of these guys, but I find it that Dana White, you know, he's he's the, the spokesperson. You know, he's the face, if you will. You know, he's really who you see most times. But in that, with that being said, the expressions, the facial expressions that I can find of Dana White, they're phenomenal. It's gold. So that's what I use, you know. But anyway, that's, you know, I, I don't use this for any other reason than, than humor. Um, but again, back to this picture. I'm still, as you can see, I was still working on this, um, this lighting, trying to not match, but just get kind of you know, brighten up Eddie's face. Um, the other thing I've, I've you had seen was me manipulating the uh, the shape. Women in general have smaller facial structure than men, uh, so 
trying to blend a man's face to, into a woman's uh, face or skull, it, it's different. So I don't want to degrade Eddie's face too much by making it too small. Uh, so I just find a, a you know decent area where it, it looks more believable. And uh, right here, what I'm doing, I pick the color picker. And um, I'm trying to just add a little more color to his eyes and his lips. Um, so it doesn't look like so so white from the other color I added. Um, the noise is basically just, you know, it adds almost like, um, it, it doesn't distort the quality. It almost like puts like, um, I, I can't, I don't even know how to explain. Well, it's noise. Like think of like noise like on a TV. It's kind of like that. And you can adjust how, how pixelated it looks or how... You know, um, you know how how are you trying to to get? Because Eddie's picture actually, the quality of Eddie's picture was smoother than the picture of the Game of Thrones character. Um, so that's how that went. That's why you see me kind of messing around, trying to get that color, trying to get the, you know, you, you never you're never going to be the only time I find that the photos. You know what? Where when it's going to be more 100% is when you're manipulating everybody that's in the same photo. Like for example, I've done face swaps with Brian Callen and Brenda Schaub, the Fighter and the Kid, where I actually took a very high quality photo I found online and I switched their faces in that photo. So the quality is perfect because it's the same quality manipulated with the same uh, quality. Um, People ask, you know, about Photoshop, you know, is it difficult? It, it, it's, you know, can I do it? Listen, anyone can do it. I mean, I've been doing this for a while, just not a hobby. It's not my profession. It's not my, you know, my career. I would love to. <sighs> Jesus, I would love to do this, what I do, uh, and make money doing it. That'd be fantastic, but whatever. I, uh, I like the fact that I have so many awesome followers that appreciate what I do and, and see it for the, the sense of humor that it's intended. Um, so, I, you know, I really am thankful, very thankful for that. And that's good. And, and, you know, things are meant to be, things are meant to be. But that's not my intention. My intention is not to be noticed. You know, I, the fact, I mean, I thought I was, I thought I was doing all right when I had like 100 followers on Instagram. I mean, I have 30,000 now. I mean, those aren't uh, Joe Rogan numbers, uh, Eddie Bravo numbers, Conor McGregor numbers. But you know what? For me, for some nobody that just does this, I'm, I'm content with it. I'm content because it's all word of mouth. I haven't advertised. I haven't paid for... I don't have even have a website. This is it right here. What, however you've seen or heard about me is how it got started. You know, and again, back to Eddie Bravo. All due to Eddie Bravo and Hanato and everybody that's in any kind of um, association with those guys. So much respect and thank you uh, to those guys. Um... As I said, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning, but this this original photo, well, this Photoshop, was about 13 and a half minutes. Um, and, you know, what I do is after I find, after I get it to a point where I'm, I'm content with, um, you know, I'll save it and bring it back. And then I'll add another, um, like a, an overlay, a filter. Uh, maybe I'll add a little more shadow or brightness. Um... Okay, that was okay. My, okay, no problem. Uh, private message. Sorry about that. I forgot to shut my messaging off after Eddie, but I never shut that off. Eddie's the man. Um, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so I'll bring it back and I'll add a filter or an overlay, shadow, brightness, whatever. And what you're gonna see because I added this after this video um, that I had done. So it's just just messing around with it. You know, a lot of times it's just you know, trial and error, trying to get the right shading, the right color, the blends, whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, this was more of an opportunity for me just to just kind of talk, you know, just not so much about the photo, but just in general, like the where this came about. You know, Photoshop's a, a very vast program. I mention this all the time. And uh, many people use it, you know, for fantastic artwork. And not, I mean, I doubt very much that when the developers of this program decided to, you know, to, to come up with it, I don't think what I do was, was their 
was in their mind, you know. But um, it works for me because my sense of humor, as warped as it is, uh, you know, with MMA, jiu-jitsu folks, you know, it, it works great. You know, and I'm happy that I'm able to, to utilize it. And, you know, you guys are there to, to appreciate it. And again, you know, as much as I thank the guys that got me going as far as Eddie and Hanato, I thank you guys for sticking around and maybe telling more people. I appreciate that. You know, um, yeah, so this is the final the final photo. Um, you know, I, like I said, I brought it back. And, uh, you know, that I, again, you know, I'm, I'm content with it enough to, to post it. And um, that's it. So uh, thanks for letting me waste uh, almost 16 minutes of your life, uh, and we'll be uh, we'll be chatting soon. So guys, uh, you take care. Thanks a lot.